to another episode of Art Life. I'm Mrs B and I'm an art teacher. I love creating art and I love showing people how to create their own art. So today come with me and I will show you how to create beautiful jewellery out of polymer clay. This is my daughter Sadie. You say hi Sadie. Hi. Sadie's here today because she's going to help me in creating our artwork for today. The reason she's going to help me is because she actually created this idea and it's called the Sadie bracelet. <laughs> The reason they're called Sadie bracelets is because my daughter Sadie decided to make lots and lots of bracelets and give them away. Who did you make them for, sweetie? To the sick kids in the hospital. Why did you make them for the sick kids? To make them happy. Yeah, so she made a whole bunch of Sadie bracelets for kids in the hospital to help them to feel better. And so now we're going to teach you, along with Sadie, how to do it yourself. You're going to help us? Yeah. Okay. The things that you need for this task. They are polymer clay, lots of different colours. You'll need a skewer or some sort of stick with a sharp end. You'll need a knife to cut the clay, otherwise scissors often works, and you'll need an oven. I've included a list of materials in the description below if you'd like to check out those links. So what do we need to start off, Sades? Clay. Clay. So this is the main material we're using today. This is called polymer clay. The first thing you need to do... Mummy. Yeah. Feel it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't feel it. But how does it feel, Sadie? Nice. Nice. It's pretty soft and squishy most of the time. Okay. The first thing you need to do is choose your colours. So obviously based on whatever colours you like the best, maybe your football team, whatever you want, you choose your colours of polymer clay to start off with. This is a polymer clay. Good. And we've got a variety of different colours here, don't we, Sadie? So play around with your colour scheme to see what colours you think works best. Taking out one colour will drastically change the colour scheme. So have a play with what you like best. We've had a play with our colours, haven't we? And we've decided on these seven. So we're gonna show you something based on using seven colours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, seven colours. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is open up your polymer clay and cut even amounts yeah. of each of the colours. Obviously, if you're a young child, using a knife is not safe, so you need to get mum or dad to help you with this part of the task. If you want one colour to be dominant, you obviously need to uh, cut more so that you have a greater quantity of it. But for now, I'm just going to show you what it looks like when you make even amounts. When you've finished using the clay, you need to wrap this one back up with some glad wrap just to make sure it doesn't dry out and you're able to use it at a later time. Lucky last, there we have it. Our colors we're going to use for our Sadie bracelet. So what's the first thing we need to do, Sadie? Um, you need to grab the piece and then Roll and roll and roll it until it's straight enough to twist. Good. All right. So what happens when you roll it? What's happening to our clay when we're rolling it? They're getting bigger and bigger. Okay. So you end up with big, long snakes to work with, don't you? Yeah. Can you see that? There we go. So once they're nice and rolled, we'll put them together like that, won't we, Sadie? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to keep doing that. You do that one. I'll do this one. They keep rolling and rolling until they're all in a straight line. That's right. It works, it helps to work on a really flat surface that isn't dirty. 
with this part. Your aim is to get your snakes in a similar kind of length. Can you see that there? All right. The next thing we do is put it together like this. Make sure they're um, very close to each other. The next thing we do is twist it together. So we're creating one big snake, aren't we, Sadie? Yeah, like a big daddy snake. <laughs> Good. It's a twisty, beautiful daddy snake. Awesome. So you can see that the colours combine really well here. Yeah. So we twist the colours together to make a big, long snake or a big log. If of twisted colour. You can call it a snake or a log. <laughs> and then you roll. try to roll it all together, don't you? Yes. So roll it like this. And the idea is to kind of keep it the same width. Because now what we're going to try to do is cut pieces that are even. We want all of the beads to be a similar size. So if your log is skinny here and chunkier here, it's going to be a lot harder to get an even size the whole time. So again, because you're using a knife in this part, I suggest that an adult does this part. You don't want to hurt yourself. I'm cutting quite small pieces because we're going to do a bracelet that looks like this. The beads are small but they're all similar size. If you're wanting to do a necklace or something like this, you can do your beads a little bit bigger. So this, this slice you can see has lots of colors in it. And the idea now is we're gonna sort of pinch it in our fingers. Pinch, pinch. pinch. And, and pinch. it makes the colors kind of blend together nicely. And then what do we do, Sades? Roll them together. Pinch it first and pinch, pinch, pinch. Roll, 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 and roll, roll, and then roll. So we do. Pinch and roll. Yeah. We pinch, have to pinch. do just two things you need to do. I mean, a little baby circle. Little baby circle, that's right. Just like that. Just, just like, like that. that. That's right. All right. And it's probably helpful to get a little tray or something that can hold all of your beads. Ready one, Mum. Thank you. Now, you need probably about 30 individual beads to make a bracelet, depending on how big the bracelet is. So I would make a minimum of 30. But obviously, if you're, you've are if you got a lot of polymer clay here, you would make more, so you can make more bracelets for your family and friends. But it is time consuming, isn't it, Sadie? It takes some time. Yeah, it takes a, it takes a little bit of time. Pinch and roll. At this point, I'm going to show you now some bigger beads. Maybe measure them to make sure they're the same size, just to show you what a necklace looks like as well. Polymer clay will stay soft and squishy and moldable like this until you bake it in the oven. So you need to turn on your oven to 130 degrees Celsius and bake all of your beads for about 13 minutes. That will make them go nice and hard. But before you put any in the oven, there's one more thing you need to do, isn't there? Yeah. Don't forget this point. Don't forget this point. What do we need to do, Sades? So when you get them very very rolled like this grab a stick 
We have a soft end. Put it on your bed. And then it will make a hole. Your bead needs a hole in it in order to thread it into a bracelet or a necklace. So this very important step involves you getting just a wooden sharp skewer like this and poking a hole all the way through like that so that your bead has a hole in it. Once they all have holes in it, they are ready to bake in the oven. Let's recap. First we cut our polymer clay into even pieces. Then you need to roll it onto a surface to turn it into a nice long snake. You then join all of your snakes together to create one colorful big snake or log, which you will cut into even tiny pieces, pinch and roll them into bead shapes, poke them with a sharp stick and then pop them in, in the, the oven. oven. Just get a tray like this. Um, if, if you have one. You need an oven tray with some baking paper on it and just place the beads carefully into the oven tray. Try to make them not stick together when you're about to put them in the oven. If you put it too close to each other, it might it might come along and stick together. All you have to do now is put your beads in the oven. A 130 degrees Celsius oven for about 13 minutes. That will make them go nice and hard. And hard. <laughs> so you can't squish and squish and squish and squish and squish them. Now we wait. our 13 minutes haven't we Sadie yes and our beads are all ready from the oven so we've allowed them to cool down haven't we and what's the next thing we need to do sweetie thread thread so you need some type of string for this next step the one I'm using is really fantastic because it's stretchy so it's sort of elastic which means when you take the Sadie bracelet off it comes off easily if you, all you have is wool or some other string, that is completely fine too. So you need to cut your string nice and long and tie a really big knot on one end. The, the end that you want to. You can do it on the left end or the right end. That's correct. Looking good. While Sadie's doing that, I'm going to show you what we will do with our larger beads. I'm going to use a piece of twine here and I've just measured it to go around my neck, how long I'd like my necklace. And again, I'm going to tie a knot in one end. You're done. You need to tie. Yeah, tie up a knot is the final thing. Double knot, nice and tight. No, no, not double. Chop off the little extra bits. Ta-da! I really hope you've enjoyed using polymer clay today and creating your very own Sadie bracelet.
or Sadie necklace and realise that this task really can be done with the entire family. Thanks for joining us and please make sure you subscribe to the Art Life YouTube channel for future videos and also comment and like this video as well. See you later. Thanks for joining us.